by now you know that there are two types of associations so i have been talking about these two types in the previous three videos so the first is the ad hoc association and there is an exposed association so before we see how we define or differentiate an exposed and ad hoc let us see how an association is written so if you see this slide there is a keyword called association after the association we have the cardinality which is a zero to star and then two this is the target table or the target uh, target view and underscore item this is the name of the association for this table and then we have a join that means on the projected field that is the field which is selected here in the bottom sales order to that we want to uh, join the associations sales order so this is the complete definition so what we did we defined a CDS view we created an association we have the cardinality and we have the target uh, CDS view or target table which we define it as association so underscore item this is the association name and then this association name is bound with an on condition to one of the fields of the um, CDS view or one of the field of the source and with the um, association fields so now at the bottom you have this exposed association and ad hoc association how do you identify it you looking at the uh, this SQL or this code so if you see here this association has an association name underscore item and this underscore item is used as here in the projection that means the output the output of his data uh, CDS view has an association it does not use a particular field of the association but it uses or it exposes the whole association in the projection all right if you come on the right hand side we have the same association name underscore item but here we are using one particular field of that association so in this case it is an ad hoc that means you are using only certain fields of this association you are not exposing the whole association but you are just using one or few fields of the association now how does it impact a developer it impacts because there is a performance uh, criteria so if you look at this case so when the CDS view is executed it will select from the source and it will select nothing from the target so this is the target ZI sales order it will select nothing because in this projection you are just saying that there is a relationship there is an association but we do not want you to select the data now we are just saying that okay this is the semantics and we we have a association signature but when I execute this CDS don't give me anything from the target just give me from the source and then when I need from the target I will let the system know and at that time from this exposed uh, association I will fetch the required field so you can say that by default the join does not happen in this case at the database level but in case of ad hoc what happens whenever you execute this CDS view you have said that you want the item number from the association value also or the associated target so in that case what will happen it will select data from the source and it will also select data from the target so there is always a join so whenever you execute this CDS you will pull data from two tables one from source and one from target and in that case the join is a hard join so you always have a join in this case but in case of exposed the join is on demand or it is a lazy join okay let us see one more time in the next slide so I have created the same a similar slide in this case also I, I have defined say a CDS view name ZMM underscore I underscore mat I'm selecting data from Mara and then I have an association with Marcy table which is defined with this underscore plant so this is the association name and this nothing we are fetching in this projection or in the output list in the output list we only have the material and this material is coming from Mara 
okay so this material is coming from mara so when we run this cds say we run gmm underscore i underscore mat when we run this cds data will be pulled only from mara nothing will be pulled from uh, marci because it is just an association and therefore it is a join on demand so once you have this data from mara and you want to see more then you can right click on that mara or the material and then say go to the association and then when you hit that button it will actually go to the database and then fetch you the values for the corresponding matner from marci table and at that time the join happens so therefore that is a join on demand or that's a lazy join now in case of ad hoc association so as i told you a little while ago so say the same thing we have a mara table and we have an association with the plant that is marci table and underscore plant is the association name and in the projection you are not only fetching metner from mara but also you are fetching plant from this s um, underscore plant association we are also fetching mmsta and maabc so since you are or since you are telling the system that whenever i run this cds get me or fetch me data from both tables from mara and marci in this case the join is hard join so it is a permanent join so whenever you execute this cds the join happens and then this ad hoc association is no different than the join statement or the inner join statement okay so hopefully you understand that whenever no fields are mentioned in the output of the cds and only if the association name is there then it is called exposed association when you have specific fields of the um association in the output then it is called ad hoc association sometimes developer will put an exposed association at the bottom after specifying the fields also so that also you can do but in that case also the join has already happened and it is not an exposed anymore it will still be considered ad hoc association even though you will put underscore plant at the end okay also in uh, one of the previous slides i said that conceptually the fields and the associations are regarded equal in cds language why because you look at this this is a field and this is also a field of an association so both of them are called cds elements okay even here this is a field and this is an association and both look like fields of or output of the table therefore they both are considered as the cds elements but the function of matner and function of underscore plant is immensely different okay so so i just wanted to highlight that they are called uh, cds elements but their functions are different and then exposed association do not have the join uh, immediately whereas ad hoc association always have the join so ad hoc association is like a join